Have you ever had trouble adapting to someone else's communication style? Please raise your hand if you have. I mean, I have all the time. Take my son, for example. He is 11 years old. He has a very direct communication style. Last week, he decided he wanted a dog. For two days straight, he talked to me only about that. Dad, can I have a dog? Dad, why don't we have a dog? <laughs> Dad, will you get me a dog for Easter? <laughs> then there's my father. He has a very analytical style, like Beatrice. So any conversation with him needs to have pros and cons. Why this? Why not that? And it can take weeks. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. My communication style is direct and analytical. I am result-oriented and systematic. It becomes handy at work because I'm able to organize very efficient meetings with a clear agenda, objectives, starting on time, ending on time with the data you need to take decisions. On the other hand, I do not enjoy personal conversations. You may take for granted that it's easy for me to adapt to people who have a direct or analytical side. Well, as you could see with the example of my son and my father, it's not the case. If we both have direct communication styles, but we don't want the same thing, it's just head banging. If we both have analytical style, but we don't interpret the data the same way, it can be a deadlock. However, it's even more difficult for me to adapt to people who have completely different styles than mine. Styles that are not at all natural to me, that I seldom use, and that take a big effort to adapt to. At Toastmasters, I've met several people who have the initiating communication style. It means that they are very spontaneous. They communicate easily. They have ideas that they are able to explain very well. And that's a great asset for a volunteering organization like ours. What I have discovered as an officer at Toastmasters is that I can help these people to structure their approach and we can work together as a team with different styles to make things happen in the best possible way. The fourth communication style is supportive. Supportive people want to listen. They want you to tell what's going on with you and how they can help you. They are problem solvers. The issue is I don't like talking about myself. So it's difficult. I have a colleague at work who is very supportive. She will take three quarters of a meeting just to talk about what's going on. So at the beginning, it was quite stressful for me, but I discovered that taking this time to talk about things, to share, help to build trust between us and make us a much more efficient team. So you see the point about adapting to others' communication styles is the ability to build trust and to work better as a team. Tonight, I have a challenge for all of us. This week, I challenge each of you. Pick one person that has a different communication style, 
and gives you trouble because of that. And make this conscious effort to adapt. For example, if you are supportive, can you be more direct sometimes? Go more straight to the point if the person is direct. If you are initiating, can you provide more data to the analytical person to help them organize your discussion? If you are analytical, can you take the time to listen to the initiating person, to know their opinion? If you are direct, can you take the time to talk about what's going on to the supportive person? This is my challenge for all of us. Let's each one try to do it this week. Try it and let me know how it goes. Thank you very much.